Hey, this is Mr. Pearson, and today we're going to read a story called Game Time. And we have special audience. We have a couple of my children. This is Colin. He's being shy. And this is the bug. Say hi, the bug. Okay, so anyway, like I said, Mr. Pearson, we're going to read a story. It's called Game Time. It's by Stuart J. Murphy. Little thing for us to take a look at here. Oh, that's important to remember. There are 24 hours in one day, seven days in a week. Got a talking dog that says, This is going to be a big game. As you can see here, some important facts 60 seconds in one minute, 15 minutes equals a quarter hour, 30 minutes equals half an hour, 45 minutes equals three quarters of an hour. And 60 minutes equals one hour. Game time. Just before practice on Saturday, a group of girls... Let me try that again. Just before practice on Saturday, a group of girls passed the soccer field and yelled out, Two, four, six, eight, who do we think is really great? The Falcons! Maria, Rebecca, and Ashley were heading to the locker room with Oliver. They yelled about they yelled back, Huskies, Huskies, we're the best. We're gonna put you to the test. There they are right there. The big soccer game between the Falcons and the Huskies was just one week away. Last year the Falcons were the league champions. We can beat them this year, said Rebecca. Then we'll be the champions. The dog's thinking one week equals seven days. That's a pretty smart dog. We have the best mascot, said Ashley, as she gave Oliver a big hug. It's already October 7th, said Maria. We only have seven more days. We'll have to practice really hard. All week long, the Huskies practiced dribbling, passing, and scoring. Oliver came to every practice. Finally, it was Friday. The championship game was just one day away. The dog again is thinking one day equals 24 hours. It's a pretty smart dog. Don't worry, said Rebecca. In 24 hours, the game will be over and we'll be league champs. Right, Oliver, said Ashley. Wolf, agreed Oliver. On Saturday morning, Rebecca, Ashley, and Maria hurried down to the soccer field to meet Coach Russo and the rest of the team. Oliver came with them. There he is being smart again. They were there at 9 o'clock and the game started at 10. They had an hour to warm up. The Falcons were already there. They looked tough. They looked good. They looked really good. In 60 minutes, we'll be Falcon food, Maria moaned. Both teams had stretched and warmed After both teams had stretched and warmed up, Jake, the referee, arrived. It was 10 o'clock. Jake looked at his watch and yelled, Game time! Both teams were ready for the kickoff. Oliver galloped up and down the sidelines. The two teams dribbled and passed the ball up and down the field for almost a quarter of an hour. No one scored. Then one of the Falcons broke away and ran for the goal. Maria did her best to block the goal, but it was too late. The Falcons scored the first goal. Jake blew his whistle and the first period was over. Already 15 minutes had gone by. Just, 15, just five minutes into the second period, a teammate passed the ball to Rebecca. With a quick kick, Rebecca sent the goal flying past the Falcon goalie. Obviously, Kate's very excited about this. Oh, there it goes. There were two minutes to go in the second period. One of the Falcons got the ball again. It was almost halftime. They had been playing for nearly 30 minutes. 
Ashley tried to steal the ball back, but the Falcon kicked it past her right into the goal. Halftime, Jake yelled. Half an hour was gone, and the score was Falcons 2, Huskies 1. The two teams ran off the field for a 15-minute break. While they rested and drank lots of water, Coach Russo gave everyone orange slices to eat. He even had a dog biscuit for Oliver. They've got us beat, Maria said, sighing. We'll never get to be champions. We can still do it, said Rebecca. Remember our cheer? Huskies, Huskies, we're the best. We're going to put you to the test, the whole team shouted. Oliver barked right along. Your 15 minutes are up, hollered Jake. They rushed back onto the field. I wonder if this is a talking dog. Both teams were playing good defense, and 15 minutes passed without a goal. Oliver watched from the sidelines. Jake blew his whistle to announce the third period was over. They had been playing for 45 minutes, and the Falcons were still in the lead. As the fourth period began, Rebecca yelled, This is our last chance! Go, Huskies, go! Ashley shouted. Oliver barked and barked. For most of the period, no one could score. Then Ashley got the ball and headed it to Rebecca. Rebecca turned, got the ball, and kicked it right into the goal. Tie game, yelled Jake. There's one minute to go. The Falcons had the ball again, but Rebe Rebecca rushed in and stole it. She took off down the field. Already, 45 seconds of the last minute were gone. Coach Russo ran to the sidelines. The crowd counted down the seconds as Rebecca ran. 15, 14, 13, 12. Rebecca got ready to kick the ball, but suddenly a Falcon blocked her shot. There was no way she could make the goal. 11, 10, 9, the crowd yelled. Rebecca quickly passed the ball to Maria, and Maria kicked it into the Falcon's net to score! Huskies win! Huskies win! cheered the team. The Huskies shook hands with the Falcons and then charged off the field. The Huskies were finally the champs. High fives all around. Wonder if they did knuckle bumps. La 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 la. The end. Oh. Here's Oliver. One last thing. Oliver's telling us. Look at that. There's the final score. Two to three. Kate's excited. Oliver's telling us, I told you this was going to be a big game. And there he is repeating all this stuff again. One more time with the facts. And apparently Kate wants to say goodbye. Say goodbye, bug. Say goodbye, bug. Okay, all right. Well, this is Mr. Pearson. I hope you enjoyed the book Game Time by Stuart Murphy. And we'll see you all next time.